Hey, Yeah, a couple of kids having fun. Never thought making a career out of riding a bike was an option, especially not when you're from Sweden. The Swedish scene is super small and not many make it. Some of these people did. From the generation that led the way to the youngster who just started their journey. This is their story. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Martin is obviously like the biggest thing that ever happened to Swedish mountain biking. I don't care about the Olympic medals here. I think he's still like the biggest uh, thing we've had on the international mountain bike scene ever. I'm just so happy about how everything have uh, happened in Sweden, how I managed to have my breakthrough and then Anton came and then Max came and then Emil came and then Alanko came and Dohan and it's just such a strong scene here in Sweden and especially that I don't feel like obviously we're all competitive but we're all good friends and we can ride together and I feel like that's what I'm most happy about that I've been able to kind of shape the scene into sticking together and helping each other instead of being too competitive so we like basically don't help each other out. Martin pretty much taught me everything I know today and uh, he took me under his wing when he realized that I really really wanted like becoming a pro rider. It built a pretty good relationship between us and uh, yeah, we trained every day and then we're sharing our experiences with each other and learning tricks together all the time. It's actually, it's actually super lucky that you don't have a no dig no ride sign because I, I, I don't think I've touched a shovel at this place. <laughs> This is like the first, the first little bit of effort that I put in. As soon as the camera comes out. Exactly. Everyone is like, oh, Martin's such a cool guy, watering the jumps. <laughs> oh no. I'm always late, showing up late when everything is finished, and then just casing the jumps, and then leaving. For as far as I can remember, when me and Max have been riding, we've always been pushing each other. It doesn't matter if we're just out on the street or uh, riding jumps or in the skate park. I always kind of push my, my level of riding. And uh, even though I'm getting older and don't push myself that hard, I still really, really enjoy riding with Max every time because uh, yeah, he finds that competitive side in, <laughs> inside of me. And uh, yeah, he just helped me to push, push myself and I hope that I can help him to push a little bit as well still. Yeah. 
though, but the first time I met Martin was 2007, I think, at um, an event in uh, Stockholm, actually. And uh, I remember one of the kids were saying, like, look at that, Martin Sörström is the best rider in, in Sweden. And uh, yeah, I went up to him and asked him for a high five, and I got it. <laughs> Ja, det är helt sjukt det här. Det här händer ju inte. Alltså, det är overkligt att jag har det själv. Och att vi har, vi har byggt det. Kört det, filmat det. På typ två dagar. Ja. Ibland ska man ha tur då. Fy fan. Ska vi testa detta eller? Det kändes bra. Det är ju mjukt men... Får vi det hårt så kommer det bli bra. Jag Simon Johansson och jag är 26 år old Jag kommer från en liten town som Kovde. Rida en bil betyder allt för mig. Uh, I built my whole life around it, so I can see myself do anything else. It became exactly what you had thought when you went here. And that everything works with fart and that it can stay here. That's the best thing. Det gick 14-åriga Simons pojkdröm i uppfyllelse. <laughs> det är ju känslan man får. Det är ju en blandning av lite rädsla samtidigt som det är adrenalin och den här mästringskänslan. När man, ja, ja, men när man kommer lite för fort in i ett parti och bara studsar lite vilt men ändå kommer igenom, då är det ju... Vi är mitt i omkörningen också samtidigt som vi kör intervjuer. Eh, jag tror det är, liksom, det är alla känslor man får. Att man känner att man liksom lever lite. Man är rädd samtidigt som att när man klarar någonting så är det liksom bästa känslan i, i världen. Skulle jag säga. My name is Zacharias Johansson, 26 år old and I'm a professional enduro rider. When I think back, it was actually pretty crazy to move 
away from home and uh, all the support when he was that young. I only knew one guy there, and that was uh, Felix Beckerman. And he said, ah, just come and stay with me. And I was like, oh, that's, that's cool. And then I showed up in his apartment. It was probably 10 square meter. Uh, so I had to sleep on the couch. Um, and his kitchen was in a closet. But uh, so I lived there for the first two months. It was really mind blowing to show up at a place and all the people that I was hanging out with had moved there for the same reason to ride bikes and wanted to I don't know if everyone wanted to make it their job to be a professional rider, but a really good uh, group just for evolving and uh, yeah, getting better in everything we did. The races here in Sweden that we call Enduro is not the same as when you go to an EVS. The format is the same, but the distance you pedal and the, the length of the stages and the, the roughness and the technical aspect is so much higher that I think if you're looking to make Enduro your, your job, you need to race the EVS. Max Fredriksson, what a, what a guy. I mean, there's no words. So impressed being like my little tail follow me around, ending up being second place in the Freeride Mountain Bike World Tour. What made me fall in love with the riding is probably, I saw some older kids in the playground when I was, I don't even know, I was very, very young. And I saw them doing no footers on a hill and I was like, I want to do that. And then <laughs> the, everything just escalated and built on, built on throughout the years. And then Martin have set a good path, I'd say. Uh, a lot of kids in Sweden do realize that you don't need the best facilities in the world to accomplish something great in the sport. But I think the mental side of things is a huge thing. And uh, also just the bike control from racetracks and skate parks is, yeah. Så jag skulle ju säga att inomhusparkerna är de som har skapat hela den här svenska stilen som vi har. För mig har det varit extremt viktigt just med den här inomhushallen för vi kan liksom klocka in här när vi vill på dygnet, göra vårt jobb och liksom bara verkligen köra ner huvudet i marken och träna så mycket som vi vill utan att bli störda av någon. Och Eftersom att det är så teknisk åkning så får man så extremt mycket cykelkontroll så det är ja, extremt viktigt för hela cykelsverige.
När jag var lite yngre där precis när jag kom upp i proffs scenen och så där och då var jag här liksom från att de stängde, de stänger vid åtta på kvällen och sen så ibland kan man ju sluta med att man var hemma vid två på natten, tre på natten. Men det är Försökte alltid tajma in så man kommer hit när de stänger så man kan få hela parken för sig själv så man kan utnyttja tiden så bra som möjligt. Och det är ganska tur att man har, det, har haft det så bra också att man kan liksom ha tillgång till att träna hårt och ostört. Liksom. I reached my complete depth of, of stuff there for a moment. I was really not feeling very well when it comes to both health and uh, mentally because I bellowed so much pain for a long time and it's, it's been a crazy road to get me this far where I could go ride every day and not have any pain. So I'm really thankful for being able to ride at the moment. Slopestyle wasn't even a thing when I grew up. so. It was like free riding and then dirt jumping and then it all came together to be slope style now and that's what I do for a living. In one way or another, your personality sits in the sport you do, and uh, I think when you don't do the sport you're fully passionate about, you it's easy to fat like really quickly feel really lost in the moment, or you feel really lost. You don't really know where you're going. And when I'm on the bike, I I know what I want to do, and I know what I want to do tomorrow, and uh, etc. I just enjoy it. If that is feeling completely miserable or being frustrated over a trick or being the happiest guy on, in the world because you land a new trick or you feel really good on your bike at the moment, uh, it's all a part of it. And I think that's what makes it all so, so beautiful. This is where Timmy and Eric sleep. 
<laughs> How nice! The King Castle. Yeah, it's. And come, I show you my bedroom. It's king size bed. <laughs> Here is my bed. Yeah. King in the castle. I have my own bed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who shall start? Yeah. Give me a ton, eh, Lele? No, I didn't think I would uh, be doing this actually. just sort of got into it and then I think even after my first race, I think my first ever EWS stage I was like ninth and I was like, huh, maybe this is what I should have been doing all the time. Um, all of a sudden you're kind of in the hunt for the <laughs> series last year and uh, no, I didn't even dream of being in, in the position I've been in the last few years. I never saw it as a job, you just kind of do what you love, and, uh, but it's a 24 hour process. Whereas when you have a kid, it's maybe a little bit different because you sort of have to look at it as a job. It's never going to be an 8 to 5 job, but I can't be so sporadic with my time <laughs> anymore. Om du gör sådär, då trillar ju cykeln ner. Mm. Inte med feedback sport stället då, men med... Nej, 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 nej. Nej. 
I could go around the world, finest diamonds, precious pearls. They'd all turn to dust in my hands. <laughs> As we said before, we had one job. Nicola said, colorful shirts, white, gray, and uh, then wrong gloves. It's so hard to be a pro biker. How are we gonna like keep everything in our head? Vilket vart såg jag för att den ska falla höger? Om jag bara vinklar sågen lite mer så här nu. Då faller den dit. Och så får man räkna in vinden också. Ja, men säg nordöst. Väst. Oj, fel boll. <laughs> Något däremellan. Ja, det betyder mycket. Det gör det. <laughs> det är något som pär. Så mycket. Så <laughs> Och Jag har ju spenderat på ett mycket tid med honom och Elin. Och nu är Ted också då, som jag är gudfader till. Och jag kommer lära honom jag honom allt jag kan. They are all I need.